there's one particular comment that came to my attention when there is a still a lot of misunderstanding, the comment under one of our recent videos, with still great confusion amongst sincere, I believe, and perhaps senior seekers of truth in terms of enjoyment and suffering versus bliss and love. Because bliss does not have an opposite. Bliss does not stand in opposite. Every fleeting joy does. There is continued mistranslations and misinterpretations of the term Ananda by very well-known spiritual teachers. No need to uh, go after someone in particular, but the term Ananda is translated from Sanskrit by seasoned scholars of Sanskrit as uninterrupted delight and rejoicing and happiness. What's the difference between Ananda and anything that we speak of as a commonly spoken joy or delight? Is that A, letter A, Sanskrit letter A, Ananda. Nanda is rejoicing, delight, happiness. Whereas Ananda, as the Sanskrit grammar goes, turns it into unending. In other words, it doesn't have beginning or end. It's a substratum. So Ananda is not peace. Ananda is not a state of platitude. It's not a state of calmness. There are other Sanskrit terms for that. This is misinterpretation of ancient teachings that are as valuable and valid today as they were back then. There are terms such as Shanti, Shanta, that stand for peace. Ananda is a very important concept, and I invite all of you interested to delve into this when we will speak about Kundalini in its relation to pranic currents and all the classically outlined varieties of Ananda as known to be described in minute detail by 10th century Kashmir say, Kashmiri Shaiva sage Abhinava Gupta. So this is what we will give our attention in the uh, next online gathering in two weeks time I believe and of course all the information is uh, can be found uh, down below and I will now look at and perhaps just randomly pick a question or two uh, 